Howdy. Hello Welcome there. back to Way More Adventures. Today we are venturing to Fox Urban Farms. It is a local hydroponic container farm. Uh, yeah, farm, but it's a um, vegetables. It's yeah. Lettuce. So we're going to go there and take a look around and show you how it's done. We've been there before. Very interesting stuff. They gave um, us a private tour before. Yeah. It was really cool. So we're going to be going there and hopefully we'll show you all the cool stuff in there and we'll we'll let them explain how this works to you hopefully they'll be able to do that i think they can right yes all right so we're heading over there we'll see you when we get there welcome back we are now at fox urban farms and we'll try to show you the what's behind us here so there are the containers and we are going to go inside we're going to flip this around and introduce you to John and Ann Fox. This is their thing. And we're going to have them show us and tell us what's happening inside. All right, so let me flip this thing around. All right, we're going to walk inside and interrupt these guys. Can we come on in? Yeah, come on in, guys. All righty. So this is John and this is Ann. This is their little thing here. It's awesome in here. So can you explain to us why you're doing this? Sure, well we're Fox Art Urban Farms and we are a hydroponic farm and we're vertical also. So when we had sold our previous business, we worked ourselves like crazy and we wanted something now that's gonna be better and work around our life, plus also be able to do something good for the community. So after going through a whole bunch of ideas, we settled on this and started going down and came up with this whole idea, found a company that builds these units um, this is how we are. This is where we are right now. So we are growing and we grow 365 days a year and we are hydroponic, which means that we're growing in nutrient rich water instead of growing in soil. Um, and this is controlled environmental agriculture. So we are controlling all of your light, your temperature, your humidity, CO2, all of your nutrients, your electroconductivity, your pH levels, all of that is in our control versus traditional farming, which is fantastic, but we're a complementary part to that, so we can do different things. Um, we grow lettuces, lots of le types of lettuces, leafy greens, we do edible flowers, microgreens, um, herbs. And, and herbs, and I'll show you guys around a little bit. Cool. So this area right here is the nursery. These are the babies. And right, right now what I was doing is getting ready to just put down some seeds in a second while I'm goofing around, but they'll start out here, they usually spend about a week with their humidity domes on them. And then those will come off, they'll spend about another two weeks without it. So three weeks in the nursery. This has all of its own uh, water. The nutrients are set for the babies here. And everything is always monitored 24 seven. So we've got monitors that are going and if something needs to have nutrients added or whatever, that automatically happens. That's the cool part right there. Yep, that's cool. So we're not in here every single day having to test all of these, but we just keep it calibrated. So we'll dump our, our water in here usually at least once a month. Um, we're very efficient on water usage. So each farm will use probably less than five gallons a day. There are certain wow. times where right now we're even over harvesting. We're pulling water out of the, uh, the air and off of our, uh, our AC units through the evaporator coils. And we'll put that in our uh, cultivation tanks. So after they've come out of here, then they get transplanted, uh, transplanted from nursery into cultivation. In each one of these farms, we have 88 panels, so 22 on each one of these rows. And every one of these has five channels. So the little grow plugs will come out of here. And this is a peat and cocoa bar plug. And then they get put into this. This has a wicking strip, which runs down behind it. That's how the water gets to these guys because cool. they are all drip fed and all of this is on timers so you have drip emitters up at the top we're plumbed out for everything we've got all AC we got everything that we need to have in here so the water will go onto these drip uh, to the wicking strips that's how it comes down goes back into the gutter and then goes back into cultivation so we're able to reuse that water for a, well, a little while This is pretty. Walk, walk through. It's like wall. It's like wall decorations. Yeah, it's really cool, and it just has a nice, like, real natural kind of just plant smell to it. And these are not the type of things that you're going to find at you know Martin's or no Walmart or anything. They are so there are there are specialty product, but they are 
delicious. Different textures and tastes and colors and everything else that's going on. In the back of the farm, we have our cultivation water. We have all of the environmental things, the HVAC, we've got our plumbing and our pumps, and we've got different control modules that are back here. So all of this thing is totally built out. And then right next to us, which you're walking next to, are all the LEDs. We'll cut those on in a minute because it's, it's tough to kind of really pay attention in, in here when you have that going on. That's when it looks really cool. So we're just under work lights right now. Right. Yep. So can we go back the other direction? Can you turn those lights on or you're not yep. yeah, right. absolutely. So we're going to go the other way and we'll meet you back on the other side. Sure. All right, we're back up in the front of this container and we're going to show you something really cool that they can do with a little light show. So everything that we do is controlled right here on this, on, the, on our tablet. So as long as we have internet access, we can take a look at this anywhere in the world. Um, short of the manual tasks that we do, we can control those here. So just for giving you an idea of what it looks like during the plants. <laughs> daytime wow. so this is to emulate Whoa. the sunlight nice. yeah and we can we can control basically think of a different intensities that we want to have in here so their daytime is from 3 p.m. to 9 a.m. and that's when they just get a ton of uh, light that's in here the water starts running supplemental co2 starts going and then in the morning when it's time for us to come in and those lights go off we just go into the work lights and then we can uh we can work in here because it's tough you don't work with those type of lights you can't really check yeah. plant health there's a lot of stuff you can't see and your eyes are probably going to be kind of uh freaked out for a second but don't worry it'll come right back to you if you look at this it probably looks green i would imagine on your eyes ours bounce back really really fast <laughs> that's cool yeah. yeah it's like whoa and if you look outside, it probably looks like the end of the world. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's what happens. So we'll grow these guys. We get them up the full size that they need to be. We harvest them. We sell the products. And people come through and pick them up. And it's just a continual process. You know, you're seeding, you're transplanting, harvesting. It just keeps going so that you have your product year rounds. Very cool. Nice. So can we show them where they can come actually pick stuff up? When sure. they do it? We, we have a building right across, and what you would do is we have an online store that goes live on Wednesdays, uh, about Wednesday evening. So we will come in here and forecast what we're going to be uh, selling. Uh, you can place your order online, just like any other shopping. You use your credit card on there, and then you come through and you pick it up on Saturdays, and it's 10 to 2. It's super easy. Um, we'll walk out to your car. You just drive right up here, and we have your name, and then you do it. So it's just a little building that's over there. That's just a sales building. That's, that's so we're gonna we're gonna walk over there and just show them what it looks like. So, yeah. All right, we're heading over there. All right, we're heading over to the actual little building that they have that you can come and pick up your stuff that you order on Wednesdays, and you can pick it up on Saturdays. So we're going inside. This is not the exciting part of the farm. This is really just where, it, so we're getting ready to harvest here in a minute. Oh, I did bring something over for Ooh, you guys. A sandwich. We brought a sandwich over for you too. Um, so nice. once we harvest these products here in a little bit, then it'll be, I'll turn that on to you. See, it looks really good. Oh, uh, we're, we're doing, uh, I'm doing River County Homesteaders. So that has homemade pimento cheese. Oh. It has uh, microgreens on it, tomatoes, and shit, some other veggies. Two covers and onions. Wow. Yeah. So this is it. This, but this building is really just for us to have a place to come and sell. Um, all of our time is really spent over there. So cool, though. Yeah. So do you have a thing? Oh, yeah. That's I say. Do you have a sticker or something to hold up so yeah. I can get all the information on there? I'm going to put a sticker on my thing. So we've got that. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh. We've got this. All right. I have these. So there we go. There's the information right there. So it's foxurbanfarms.com. Super easy to get to. You can scan the QR code. And this is what's going down to Village Square today. Nice. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, that's beautiful. Are those pretty? So when you wow. get your drink or something like that, they'll have those in there. You got it. Yeah, I know. So fancy, nice. fancy, huh? Very fancy. Pick you cool. up when you're drinking with it. That's awesome. All right, well, we'll be coming back and get more stuff soon. We'll talk to you guys soon. Awesome. Thanks. All right, we just had our awesome tour i know this of fox urban farms and great information great resource for healthy eating in winchester virginia and they just so happen to make us a sandwich with microgreens and, and on pimento the, yeah the pimento cheese and the microgreens are from here the other stuff's not but we're going to eat in front of you again oh don't let it fall all right
Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. Mm. It's so good. Mm. So fresh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. Microgreens, tomatoes, onion, mm. pimento so good. cheese, cucumber. <clears throat> Ooh. One more bite. Yum. Uh oh. <laughs> it's amazing. The pimento mm. cheese, wow. Mm. So good. How can you not eat healthy with stuff like this around? And it's not expensive. Uh uh. That is so good. All right. There you have it. Mm -hmm. Fox Urban Farms, Winchester, Virginia. We'll put a picture of their logo and all the stuff and how to contact them at the end of this video. And have a great day. See ya. Bye.